let us take a look if we have binary attribute. So, what is binary attribute? It is a nominal attribute. It's like nominal attribute with only two states. It's either 0 and 1. 0 means that the attribute is absent, while 1 means uh, the attribute is present. So, this is absent and this is present. So, for example, we have uh, a data set or an attribute or smoker. Okay. Describing a patient, okay, for instance, one would describe the patient as smoke, while um, zero will uh, say that the patient does not smoke. Then how can we compute the dissimilarity between two binary Attribute. So, one approach involves computing a dissimilarity matrix from the given binary data using this contingency table. So, this one. This is the contingency table for binary data. So, you have 2 times 2 here. Okay. 2 times 2. Okay. Object, object I versus object J here. Okay. Um, you have uh, a few other notation here. Okay, for example, Q is the number of attributes that equal one. Okay, for both object uh, I and J. Okay, so for example, Q is when I is one. Okay, J is one as well. Right, R is number of attribute that equal for one for object i, okay, one for object i, and zero for object j. S is the number of attribute that equal zero for object i, okay, and one for object j, and t is number of attribute that equal zero for both I and J. So, the total number of attribute is P, where P is equal to Q plus R plus S plus T. So, this is Q, okay, where I is 1, J is 1, R, I is 1, J is 0, S, I is 0, J is 1, and T, 0. Zero. Let us take a look how are we going to calculate it. So the distance measure for symmetric binary variable, if you have symmetric binary variable, it is um, if the outcome of each state is equally valuable. So for example, you have gender, male and female. So both of the outcome of this state will be valuable. So this is the distance measure. Dij is equal to R plus S over Q plus R plus S plus T. However, it is different for distance measure for asymmetric binary variable. So, if the outcome of the state are not equally important. So, what does it mean by not equally important here? Okay. Let me explain it a little bit. Um, not equally important me meaning that um, for example, you have um, positive and negative outcome of disease. Positive. Okay, you have positive as one value, value one. And negative as value zero, right? So, this is the outcome of a disease. Okay, so when you are given two asymmetric binary variable, it means that um, you have an agreement that is two of one, okay, two of value one is considered more significant than two of zero value, okay. So, meaning that the value of the state are not equally important meaning that the f when you have more one meaning that it is not 
as important or as uh, equal with uh, with value that is 2, 0 here. Okay. So the calculation of this and measure is quite different whereby you are not going to consider P inside here. Okay, you are going to have R plus S over Q plus R plus S. You can also have jacket coefficient. This is the similarity measure for asymmetric binary variable. Let us try to calculate the distance measure be, uh, or the dissimilarity between the binary attribute. So suppose that uh, you have this patient record table, okay, this one that contains the attribute of name, gender, fever, cough, and all of those tests, where name here is the object identifier. Object identifier, right? And gender here, okay, is a symmetric attribute where it has a uh, same significance, okay? While the remaining attribute are asymmetric binary, let us just uh, take the value y and p set to 1 and n to be set to 0. So what you have to do is you have to, you don't have to consider this. This is 1, uh, n is 0, right? And p is 1, okay? 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 0. So you are going to have this table later on. Okay, with name and all of those asymmetric uh, attribute. Okay, this is your contingency table. Okay, and this is the formula if you are going to calculate on the, sim the similarity of asymmetric binary attribute, right? You don't have to... Uh, Consider T inside here. So let us try to see the distance measure between object Jack and versus Mary here. Okay. So if you take a look at Jack and Mary, so it will be this one. Right. If you still remember, what is R? Okay. What is R? R is equal to 1, 0. So uh, I is 1, J is 0. So, for this uh, matter, 1 you should see on Jack, 0 is on Mary. Okay, take a look on the first attribute, that is fever. Okay, is there any value that has uh, 1 and 0? 1 value for Jack. Uh, zero value for Mary. No, right? Okay. So, meaning that your R here is equal to zero. You don't have any. If this one, this is zero and one. Okay. What about S? S meaning that you have zero, one. Zero versus one. Okay. So, zero for Jack, one for Mary. So, take a look at your table. 0 for Jack, 1 for Mary. Okay, you get it here. Right? So, you have 1 value. Next is Q. Okay, Q means 1 versus 1. So, is there any 1 plus 1 and 1 here? Yes, you have 2. This one and this one. Okay, so this is 2. What about, okay. This is enough, right? R, S, and Q. Okay, so you have to input this into the function here. Okay, R plus S over Q plus R plus S. So, R is 0. Your R is 0. Your S is 1 over Q is 2. R is 1. Sorry, R is 0. And S is 1. So, you have to calculate them and this is the value that you are going to have. Okay. Try to take a look at these two variables or these two uh, objects, Jack 
you want to see the dissimilarity between Jack and Jim and uh, the dissimilarity between Jim and Mary. Okay. If you still remember, when you talk about dissimilarity, okay, if it is zero, meaning that it is nearly the same, right? If it is one, meaning that it is different. So, if you take a look at the value here, which attribute okay, has uh, much differences? Okay, for sure, you can say that Jim and Mary has a very uh, far distance of dissimilarity. Okay, 